Make math fun with two new games from Fox Mind that get kids ages four and up working dexterity, memory, and more. We were sent both of these games to review. And if you want to find more fun games to play with your family, subscribe to our channel. Can of Worms is a fun memory and math game. Place 10 worms into the holes and spin the can. The first player flips over a card, which will have a number on it. The player pulls out one worm of their choice and lays it on the ruler to measure its length. If the player's worm matches the number on the card, they get to keep that card and replace the worm. If the worm's length is smaller than the number on the card, the player can choose to keep pulling worms to try to reach the number or pass their turn. Any past worms stay on the ruler. If the worm is bigger than the card's number, the player must replace their worm and take a worm token with the worm side up. On their next turn, they flip the token over to show a minus or plus one. This can be used to add or subtract to match the number on the card. You can combine one or two tokens at a time to make a number match. Once used, the tokens are placed back into the game pile. Special cards can be added to the base game for more variety. Flip two cards allows a player to turn over two cards, giving them an extra number to try to match. Longest worm cards create a race among all players to pick the longest worm from the can. The player with the longest worm wins a token. And bonus worm cards makes one worm available for any player to use on their turn instead of drawing from the can. The first player to earn four cards wins the game. You can play this game with two to six players. Match Madness Jr. is a classic matching game that tests observation skills. There are three ways to play and four levels of difficulty. In the quick play game, you want to be the fastest to recreate your blocks with the pattern shown on a card to win the card. The first player to four cards wins the game. Each player gets four blocks numbered from one to four. If you're playing at level one, the cards will show you a suggested block placement outline and a number to help you start puzzle matching. If you're playing at level two, you'll see a suggested block placement with no block number. Level three and four are regular puzzle cards with no additional clues. Once you've chosen your level and shuffled the cards, flip over the top card. This is the pattern that all players have to match by turning their blocks. There's also a Match Madness race game, which is similar, except each player gets their own stack of cards. If you match your card first, you get to try and solve the bonus card in the middle, while the other players continue working on their first cards. The player who solves the middle card first ends the round. After four rounds, the player with the most cards wins. And you can also play the game solo by setting a timer for a predetermined length of time and seeing how many matches you can make. This is a game for one to four players. Which one of these games do you like best? Let me know in the comments. My pros for Can of Worms are it introduces kids to measuring, it's easy to learn, it requires some memory skills, and kids will like the styling of the game pieces. I don't have any cons, so I give this game four and a half stars. My pros for Match Madness Jr. are it has 48 puzzles, there are four levels of difficulty, you can play three different ways, and it challenges your observation skills. I don't really have any cons for this one, so it gets five stars. For more fun toy videos, follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.